Mercury retrograde. What is it? A lot of you have been like writing emails and being like, I don't understand what Mercury retrograde is. So I picked out some stuff online. I'm going to read you a little bit of things just to clarify it so that you know exactly what it is, what it's not, just to give you a little bit of history. But if you really want to go in depth into it, uh, just go on Google and type in what is Mercury retrograde. But I'm going to go over a little bit with you. So now we have the Mercury retrograde dates. So you want to mark these on your calendar uh, coming up. So we had a retrograde from February 17th to March 10th of 2020. These are the 2020 dates, by the way. Write them down, get a little paper, write them down. We have one that we're in now, June 18th to July 12th, and we still have another eclipse hitting, and we had two that just left and a new moon. So we have so much going on. Mercury is not only in retrograde, but we have seven other planets in retrograde. Okay, so what is Mercury retrograde? Because I tend to go off on tangents, I wanted to look at some information to kind of just pare it down so that I can give you the basics. So it says, what is Mercury retrograde? This is from the Farmer's Almanac, just so you guys know where it's coming from, not coming from me. I kind of gave you what I said it was last time, kind of told you the more advanced techniques with it. This is the basics. So due to the way our planet's orbit interacts with the orbits of other planets, they might sometimes appear to be traveling backward through the night sky with respect to the zodiac. It's in fact an illusion. The planet Mercury doesn't actually go backward, but we call it retrograde motion because it's an optical illusion. Kind of like when you are driving a car and you pass the car, it looks like it's going forward, but if you're kind of going at a different speed than the car, the car wheels actually look like it's going backwards, but it's really not. That's kind of like the same effect of the planet Mercury or any planet that goes into retrograde motion. The planet only appears to be going backward. It's not actually going backward. Okay, so Mercury retrograde has, it happens three times a year. It appears as if Mercury is traveling backward. So we refer to these periods as time when Mercury is in retrograde motion or simply Mercury retrograde. These times in particular were traditionally associated with confusions, delays, and frustration. So let me tell you about confusion, delay, and frustration. Yesterday, out of all the days of the retrograde so far, was the worst with Mercury retrograde. So if you guys were frustrated yesterday, had issues with communication, Mercury retrograde affects your emails, your electronics, your communication, um, misunderstandings with people. Sometimes things come out of your mouth and you don't get a chance to edit and be like, oh my God, I didn't mean that, but somebody takes it a certain way and you didn't really mean it that way, but now they're offended. Yeah, Mercury retrograde. Um, so just be careful um, with that. So because of all this mental confusion from the planet appearing to go backwards, we tend to not be very clear in terms of starting new projects, okay? So you're going, you're thinking you wanna do this grand new project because you're a little foggy and not clear and things are kind of slowed down and things are confusing and there's a lot of um, mishaps with a lot of things and electronics and misunderstandings and emails and communication, odds are you're not gonna be seeing clearly with starting new projects. That's why they tell you not to begin new projects in a, in a retrograde period. So, so you think Mercury retrograde, email blunders, frazzle travel plans. Luckily, not a lot of people are traveling right now, but if you were to tell me, hey, I'm gonna go take a flight to the Bahamas and I'm getting on the plane in the retrograde, I would say, okay, just prepare for travel delays, be prepared to maybe not fly out on time or maybe having issues when you get to the airport, um, a lot of frustration. And if you know this is going on, then you don't get as frustrated because you're like, you just blame it on the grade. That's what I tell people to do. You know, it's kind of like Mercury retrograde is kind of, if I can encompass it in one thing, it would be this. This is what I could say it is. I, if I could just put it in a little glass jar. You go, to, you, you're on E, okay? You're driving and you need gas, all right? And the first place you pull up to, all of a sudden, none of the pumps like are, are all, they're all like the, the plastic yellow bags are on them. So you can't get gas there. So you see a place down a block away 
you pull in there, there's people getting gas, you know the gas works, but the, the guy that pulls out, you get to that pump and that pump won't take your credit card. Yep, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with the electronics of that specific pump. That's mercury retrograde. Most of the time, these little frustrations could cause people to flip out. The good thing is, mercury retrograde, any mishaps or miscommunication or things that happen in a retrograde could be fixed. Um, usually things are worked out. But why be uncomfortable if you don't have to be? So the planet, can be, like each, each planet rules something, okay? So the planet Mercury rules communications, travels, contracts, automobiles. So usually you gotta make sure your car is checked during a retrograde, making sure you get your service done. Usually some car issues will come up during the retrograde. Um, so when Mercury's retrograde, remain flexible, allow extra time for travel, and avoid signing contracts. I can't tell you how many people call me recently saying, well, I'm signing a contract. Okay, double and triple check it. They're like, yeah, there were some issues with it. Don't do it. If you don't have to do it, wait another couple weeks. So double check your email responses and check in with reservations before you take that trip. I remember somebody went on a trip. They got to the place and the people had no uh, knowledge of their reservation. They had no room for them. They were thousands of miles away. They went to check in and the name wasn't there. Apparently there was an issue with the system. That's the kind of stuff that happens. Double and triple check. Review your projects and plan at these times, but wait, you can do planning, you can do research, you can move things ahead, but wait until Mercury is direct to make any final decisions, okay? So you can't stop your life. You can't be like, oh, I have to stop my whole life. But you plan ahead, you have a backup plan, you have plan A and B, you double, triple check, and be prepared for angry, annoying, people and miscommunication and people to piss you off or do you think that they're doing stuff to piss you off so that's the thing your perception might be a little off especially yesterday people were crazy let me tell you just driving like I don't even get out and drive and people are like nuts um, so some people tend to blame the mercury retrograde for bad things that happen in their lives instead you don't want to do that because it's happening to everybody you want to, this is a good time to sit back, take a rest, review where you've put your energy in your life. Think about where you want to put your energy in the future. And a very good time to reconnect with old, old people from your past that you haven't talked to in a while. Reconnecting with old family and friends. Wonderful experience. Reconnecting with old clients. Um, that kind of thing. You're going to see a lot of people coming back from your past. Hopefully it's good people coming back from your past and not bad people. Not that people are bad, but you know what I mean.